Good morning, YouTubers, friends, followers, but mainly good morning to the subscribers. Thank you very much for helping this channel grow and supporting me. Right. Loads of emails coming in. I'm going to say a big thank you uh, to everyone who sent me emails over the last 24 hours. Again, I got up this morning to read a lovely message, actually, from Mr. Thomas Markle Jr. Listen, I was having a joke when I said about the T-shirt, Thomas. Didn't mean it. I wear T-shirts in videos, too. Yeah. But it's nice that you've told me that you've got a dress shirt. So there we go. Um, I have spoke to Samantha Markle and she will be coming on this week. As I said, today she has a big interview. I'm not going to say any more about that, but uh, sometimes people have to keep quiet until they get things out of the way. At the end of the day, people, I'm not paying people for interviews. And if someone's going to earn money doing an interview, then that must be the priority because they have to look out for their own welfare first. I did a post this morning on my community page and what I've done is, uh, if I've left you out, I completely uh, apologise. I, I can't remember every channel, but I think I tried to get most of them there. I think I remembered about, I don't know, 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. I think I remembered about 25 or 30 different YouTube channels and I've asked you all, all, to get behind a channel. I think if we all did it, we have to remember this, people. YouTube is a massive platform and there's room for everyone. There's room for everyone. So why not every week we all get together and pick a channel and we give that channel a shout out and watch them grow? Because then you watch them grow and they will pay back the compliments and watch you grow. It's teamwork. Right. Something that I've read this morning, which uh, I read this a few days ago, actually. I've been sort of, I didn't know the full story. I know that there was an Afghan asylum seeker entered the United Kingdom. And I know that he killed, this is true, he killed a young lad who was training to join the Royal Marines. Now, I was thinking, okay, yeah, uh, sometimes you can't prevent people's behaviour. But now what I've learned is the Afghan asylum seeker that killed the aspiring war marine was wanted for a double murder in Serbia, uh, drug trafficking in Italy, and he still managed to get through our system in the UK, which means our border force are abysmal and need to be shut down and redone because we are letting in lunatics. We're letting an Interpol suspects and people on the most wanted list are entering into the UK and they're being given everything and they're going around. And, and you know, whether you like this or not, people, I'm reading it more and more. It's in the media today. There's more and more people entering the United Kingdom by boats and actually going after and they're predators towards young children. And I find it absolutely shocking that that's taken place. Uh, but um, we need to fix it. On the flip side, I'm going to give the police a well done today because it seems that over the last two or three days, the police have carried out 179 arrests and they have managed to uh, arrest uh, criminals, clearly, uh, drug trafficking, people that, that are dealing with weapons, cash and, and vehicles. So people that are into all these types. So the police are doing a good job at the minute. Yes, they're going after proper criminals. Yeah, that's what happens when you get off social media, the police, and you stop placing people's words. You're actually effective. So let's keep that up. I think it's fantastic. Yeah. So that's great news, isn't it? Uh, it certainly is. Find this strange, though. Now, I know that, and I mentioned it yesterday and a couple of days ago, we all know now that Prince Andrew has decided to try and clear his name and go after Virginia Gouffet. The uh, alleged the woman who alleged he 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 had sexual intercourse with her, but there was no proof. He decided to fight that case and clear his name. But what doesn't help is someone that's already convicted of human trafficking, sex trafficking. Ghislaine Maxwell, who's in jail, is saying, "Yes, it's true. Uh, uh, I I will support Prince Andrew. I'm going to be honest, Mrs. Maxwell." Your word isn't worth anything. It's not worth it. No one trusts you. When you get involved with Andrew, all you're going to do is make it worse for him. Sometimes it's better just to shut up and let him fight his own battles. Yeah, in my opinion, clearly, in my opinion. There we go. And it's great news this morning. Well, it's come on the back of bad news. I mentioned about four or five days ago that an 18-year-old boy was stabbed to death outside Debenhams in Ipswich, in town centre. Uh, two guys 
ran off in different directions. It made it difficult. There was witnesses. No one knew much. Well, I'm actually really, really pleased to say now that those two individuals, two teenagers actually, stabbed him to death and they've now been charged with murder. So they've caught them. So that's fantastic news. I hope they get life in jail. Sometimes I wish we had the lethal injection or the electric chair like America does in some states. Sometimes I wish we had that and you fight fire with fire. But if someone's caught on CCTV and if someone's taken a life, I believe it should be a life for a life, in my own opinion. It's the only way to stop it, isn't it? Well, there we go. Uh, what else have we got here? Uh, yes, um, a 31-year-old man has now been charged with the the break-in and the attempted knife attack on Mark Cavanich, the Olympic cyclist, and his wife, Petta. So uh, that's good. So we're catching people. The police are catching people because they're getting off their ass and they're out there and they're doing it. And I think it's great. Yes. Now, we talk about healthcare in the UK. We've got the NHS. The NHS used to be fantastic. It really, really did. And then for some reason, things went wrong. As a young lad growing up, I thought the NHS was great. You walked into hospital and you smelt, you smelt that hospital smell, that disinfectant. You were like, wow, this place is spotless. No, it's not so much. Now they cut back and dilute stuff and it's not, it's not so much. It's not so much. The people that clean the hospital are usually uh, immigrants that have come into the UK and uh, they do a very good job. I'm not putting them down. They do a very good job uh, with shit pay, actually. Um, so there we go. Um, but the NHS... The NHS is falling apart, and I don't believe it's from the government, because they're having more money thrown at them. I believe it's the people in charge of the NHS. It's all different directors and private health boards and different, you know, different parts. And, and a lot of those people that, that, that run the hospitals, you know, are subject to pharmaceutical companies. You know, you must use our product. You must use this. You must use that. I don't believe the NHS uh, should get more money. It's got enough. But I do believe that people on the top of all these different hospitals and NHS boards need to be sacked and restart it. There we go. And that's how you fix the NHS. You get rid of all the bureaucracy and paperwork and you start to actually do things properly. But the people at the top are getting big wages and they don't want to step aside. They don't want to step aside let new blood come in with their ideas to fix it. No, they're happy to sit there. They need they need scraped off of the scraper to get them flicked out the door. That's what they need because they won't move. They're budged. They're embedded. Well, a new poll has come out and said, said that Women's health care, women's health care in the, in, in the United Kingdom, it's not even in the top 10 in the world. It's not even in the top 20 in the world. In fact, the UK's women's health care sits at number 30. We are 30. We are joint with Slovenia and Kakistan. Do you know who leads the world in women's health care? Tai and I. Taiwan. Mm. Came as a shock to me as well. Here's how it goes in the world. So, Taiwan's number one, Latvia's number two, Austria's number three, Denmark's number four, Estonia's number five, Switzerland's number six, Germany's in there in the top seven, top ten. Then we have Czech Republic, then we have Israel, then we have Norway. The USA's not even in the top ten in the world. The USA's not even in the top ten in the world. There we go. That's how terrible it is. Believe it or not, the USA's a rich country. I know they're in debt. And the UK's a rich country. And Taiwan beats everyone hands down. Sad, isn't it? But that's how it is. That's because out there they put women at the front. And do you know why? See, in Taiwan, women's health care is women's health care. Women's health care is not women with dicks and penises. They look after proper women and the world. So all the countries which we used to class as third world and backward countries are now outplaying us and everything, outgrowing us, outproducing us. Yeah. Common sense prevails in those worlds. But over here in the West, we're all mentally retarded in our ideas as we move forward. Well, people, listen. Thanks very much for supporting this channel. It means a lot. We've got 84,100 of you wonderful people on this channel now, which is fantastic. My aim is 100K. Don't know if I'll ever, if I'll ever get there. But uh, at least we can help other channels get there. So support Thomas Markle Jr. today. If you're subscribed to my channel, please give him a subscribe it's free take care and stay safe